On April 24th, I showed you the FWC and the South Florida Water Management District together sprayed the entire south end of Lake Kissimmee. The plants that were lodged up against the dam had just started to die. Notice the color of the water just below the dam. You will understand why at the end of this video. In the bay, they also sprayed all the edges of the islands. They sprayed and killed everything within a mile of the locks. The western part of the bay has the majority of plants, so it got the most poison. By April 30th, all of the animals living in these plants were now dead. So there were hundreds of birds there that were now feasting on all of these dead critters that had once made up this beautiful living ecosystem. I returned on May 11th to capture the final chapter of this crime on nature and to show you what was happening to all of these dead and rotting plants. As the plants decay, they sink to the bottom and turn into mud. So then they open up the gates and flush all of this mud down the river so it ends up in Lake Okeechobee. This mud is full of nitrogen and phosphorus that these plants took out of the water when they were alive. Now that they are dead, they are releasing all of these nutrients back into the water along with all the poisons that they use to kill them. This practice has been going on for decades, so they just continue to do it, even though there are other options that would remove these plants instead of flushing them down the river. Let's look at it from another angle. When they open the gates, it creates a suction that pulls all of this muck from the entire basin. Watch as this mud gets sucked down the river. Unbelievable. The western edge of the lake got the most spray. Just look at the mud coming from the west. This structure is known as the S-65 and is operated by the South Florida Water Management District. It is located at the bottom of Lake Kissimmee on Route 60. There are hundreds of scientists that work at the district and it is mind-blowing to me that not one of these people think this is a bad idea. The district also picked the worst time of year to do this spray campaign. The weather is starting to get hot and the algal blooms have already started to form on Lake Okeechobee. These nutrients will enter the lake just in time to feed these algal blooms. This is just plain stupidity, and our wildlife will have to pay the price with their lives. I have been snapping pictures of the south end of Lake Kissimmee for five years now, and this is how it looked in November of 2017. Notice how blue the water is? Earlier that year, I snapped this picture, and just look at how many plants were in the lake at this time. There is no mystery here. The reason the water is blue is because the plants are filtering out these nutrients in the water. We should not be killing any of these plants. Instead, we should be encouraging more to grow. So in just the last five years, we went from this to this. This is no longer acceptable to the state of Florida. There are people in the district that need to be held accountable for this crime.